Little view of our Christmas tree. Fiber optic tree. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, yes indeed. Hey there guys and welcome to this brand new video. My 2018 highlight today on the DVD Reviews. Welcome back, guys. This year, 2018, has been one of the best years of my life. And that is down to one reason. Back in the summer of the year, um, basically in May of 2018, specifically uh, the 24th of May 2018, I went with my brother-in-law to New York City and while there we met up with my brother and we went and hit the locations, the filming locations of Ghostbusters 1 and 2. We hit every location imaginable from the movies such as um, Ghostbusters HQ or Hook and Ladder 8 which was used as the exterior for the uh, Ghostbusters firehouse, the interior was actually recorded in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, an abandoned uh, fire station in LA. But I uh, actually had the chance to actually step inside Hook and Ladder 8 just to see what it actually looked like in there. They were still doing the renovation work when I was there, but it was still really cool to be able to lay a foot inside. And next we went to Columbia University, which is actually where, um, after the you know, titles, well, that's where the uh, opening of the film uh, starts, where Bill Murray, or uh, or Venkman, does his um, ESP ability test, and he gives the electric shock to the nerd guy, and he, um, he, he, um, he um, runs off because he gets fed, fed up with having the electric shocks, and he actually gives all the, um, all the right answers to the girl there, because I think he fancies her. But that's, um, that's um, Columbia University. And then we went to uh, New York Public, the New York Public Library, which of course was for the uh, opening of Ghostbusters. And um, I had a chance to walk down the path that um, Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray walked down at the beginning of the film. And that was pretty cool stuff. There was also Manhattan City Bank, where um, when... when um, when uh, Rankman comes out the bank, they say, you're never going to regret this, way." And I actually did that, and um, I acted out that scene while coming out of the doors, coming out of that particular building. And then there, were, there was, of course, Lincoln Centre, which is where Bill Murray hops on one foot and um, does the spinning around with his arms out like that to basically meet uh, with Sigourney Weaver's character, uh, Dana Barrett, to talk about her case with the... Um, with you know what what happens with the terror dog that she finds in her refrigerator, and then of course there was Tavern on the Green, where uh, Lewis Tully runs to after getting uh, sorry before before getting possessed by the terror dog, or Vince Clortho. Columbus Circle was of course where people get first witness the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. And the Shandor Building, or Spook Central, was of course the climax of the first film, um, where they battle Gozer and the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. And uh, Washington Square Arch was uh, the arch that you see in a montage scene in the second movie. Uh, the Museum of Art, in real life, is actually a uh, history museum. And it was just good to go there because it was like the uh, acted in the film as like Vigo's home or where the portrait of Vigo is. 
and then the Statue of Liberty, of course, is where um, is where they um, hose slime inside, and they play the song Higher and Higher by Jackie Wilson, and it gets the Statue of Liberty to step down off its pedestal and walk up through New York up towards the uh, the museum to basically save the world. And um, that following Sunday, which was my last day, so we went there from Thursday through to the following Monday. And on uh, the Sunday, we went to Madame Tussauds, which had um, the Ghostbusters experience, and the um, we could also see the wax works of uh, Ghostbusters 2016. And it was just the best time of my entire life. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, up next, just coming to the end of this video, will be a little montage that I created of the uh, look, some smaller clips taken from the extended version. If you want to see the extended version of the video, it will be linked in the description box down below. If you haven't seen the feature length video, check it out and I hope you enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed my trip to New York. It was the best time of my life. And um, if you haven't seen the video, check it out. As I say, link below. But here comes the montage now. So until my next video, guys, goodbye and take care for now.